Hello viewers, you are welcome to my channel. This is Famatanto and I'm here today at the University of Bamenda to explore some creative minds. You know one of the goals of my channel is to identify creative minds across Africa and to expose them to the world. So today I'm here to meet an amazing young lady who has designed a machine. Please if you are new to my channel, do me a favor to like, subscribe and share this video. So let's go to meet this lady and we'll get to see what she has designed. How are you ma'am? I'm fine sir. Wow, I hear today is your graduation day. So what's your name? My name is Kweji Enwa. Okay, okay. And you are in which department of the university here? I'm in the School of College of Technology for Tech, under the Department of Agriculture and Environmental Engineering. Wow, Department of Agriculture and Environmental Engineering. So I heard somewhere how you designed a machine and today I decided to come here to visit you so that you can explain to us the machine that you designed. So what is the machine all about? Alright, uh, the machine is a peanut coating machine. Okay. Yes, it actually put peanuts, though people normally call peanuts granules. Okay. It's a machine that coats granite with glass That's to right. produce peanut burger. Though Cameroonians most call it peanut. Okay. So it's peanut burger, coated peanut with flour. Wow, wow. So why did you decide to design this machine? How did you conceive it? Okay. My past four years in the University of Bermuda, peanut burger has been serving as a source of income for me. Okay. As I do it to sell on campus, and I also discovered that a lot of students are involved in this business. That's right. But there's one thing I saw along the line while doing this now. In as much as I had customers from all some other regions of Cameroon, I discovered it was difficult for me to meet up with the demand. Okay. So being a Cortex student and knowing that Cortex has to be agriculture processing and also seeing the the quantity of granola that is being produced in Cameroon, okay. I was thinking like if I can bring up something that will facilitate the production of this and since many students are involved in eating consuming it and also as a source of income. Yeah. So and thought of designing something that is helpful and also can then help others who are involved in producing this now. Wow, that's wonderful. So can you describe, so you built this yourself? This is unbelievable. Wow. So can you show me how it operates, how it functions? Okay, the machine, this one is a coating, a coating bowl. For you to coat peanut, you need a bowl, yeah. you need granite, you need flour, you need some coating ingredients. Yeah. Doing this snack manually, you need to put the granite in a bowl, okay. you shake. Yeah. After shaking, you have to put the flour, you shake, you put the coating ingredients, you shake. Okay. So you continue this process until the, the granite is finally coated with the flour to your own required sizes. That's so right. that you can stop it. But it's actually a very stressful process that is time consuming. Okay. And at the end of the day, you might not even be able to meet up with your demand. So with this machine, you just have to, it's manually operated, it's not really automatic. But okay. it's, I was trying to design something that would save the most stressful part of the snap that okay. is being produced. Mm -hmm. So this machine does the coating. Okay. You actually put your granite inside. When your granite is being charged into the coating yeah. bowl, you, you just switch it on. Okay. You oh, wow. start the granite. You put your coating in the den. You have your coated peanuts. Wow, in seven minutes. In seven minutes, you have your coated wow. peanuts, and you just have to remove it out, and you go and fry it. But wow. the, that that's the process that if you have to want to do it manually, it will take not less than forty-five minutes. Wow. Because I have done it manually and have compared doing it with right. this machine. So that's just I was trying to solve this main problem because the main issue was to solve the coating part that shaking. It's really stressful. That's there are right. people that have problems. They have uh, even had a problem that was later operated upon, and it was due to that coating process. But it was a business that was generating me income. Okay. So I was looking for every means to see that I see how I can wow. go about to do something that will facilitate. Wow. So how much can a machine like this cost? Um, the cost of a machine like this, um, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds for a size like this. Two hundred and fifty thousand, which is like five hundred dollars. Yes. 
Okay. So now, what is your future dreams as far as production of this machine is possible? Um, as of now, I want to really mass scale this production and also improve it. Even I, I'm thinking of producing mm. something mm. that can even be an automatic system okay. that you will not even have to stand by it. Why not just come with your coating ingredients and flour yeah. with the granite? You charge everything. Maybe you have to just turn a switch button on and you go after seven minutes to remove wow. already coated peanut. Or even why not bake it? So I'm still thinking on that. But as of now, I'm trying to see how I will maintain this to really see that it works effectively and mass scale. Okay. Wow. So in rural areas where there are no electricity, so can you adapt like a solar system to work on this machine? Um. Yes, sir. I'm. I'm working on that. Even okay. for it to work, even renewable energy and that solar system. That's my next. My next month, sir. Wow. So now you just graduated today and now you are, are you pursuing your masters or do you plan to con to continue producing this or do you need like support because you know we are out there to showcase what young people are doing across Africa and you don't know who might be watching you know so there might be there might be some people interested around the world if you find some investors who might want to come and join you to produce this so will you welcome them yes sir. i will welcome investors even scholarship to see how i can continue my production and i'm also currently doing my master's program okay you are doing your master's studio in a program in the university here yes yeah, still in Caltech. wow still in the college of technology yes sir. wow Juliet, what are the challenges have you been facing? You know, this coming up with something like that, you must have. What are your difficulties and the challenges? The difficulties and challenges of production is that we are really found it difficult to have the materials. Okay. Not to come out with the structure, it was really difficult. Because it's not at, it's not at every speed that this machine can operate, and to also find the type of engine to use here is really very difficult. So, as of now, my main challenge is. Uh, locating materials to okay all right so which means if you have the means the materials to produce you can how many can you produce per year in a year i can produce like that yeah, because a year has 12 months and i know in a month approximately i can produce two in a month let me just say if everything i can even produce two then let me put that two so in a year i can say if, there, if there's even means because one thing is when the materials are done because at times i give you i say two weeks in production because i have to look for the materials yeah. but if the materials are done even a week is even too much yeah. wow 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 that's wonderful this is mind-blowing you see a lot of people think that you know only men can design something but this is an amazing young lady who has designed a peanut coating machine that can coat peanuts in seven minutes compared to using your hands manually which take about 45 minutes to one hour so it is time we have to join those making a difference in africa let them shine it was nice having you on my channel and i know the sky is your limit you know the world is watching and someday people might come in for you to scale up things so, thank you guys for watching please remember to subscribe i am farmer no farmer no future peace and blessings